Diyan mismo pinato yung golden cub na mga Israeli. And then nagalit si Moises nung bumaba siya kaya naparusahan yung mga taong sumamba sa gintong baka. It is the third day of our Tabuk tour. From this road, you can see the Gulf of Bakaba. Madali na ako, medyo late na yung flight. Pero I'm really so excited to go to... Let's back up our Tabuk trip. On the first day, I took a two-hour flight from Riyadh to Tabuk Airport. This is my first trip somewhere in northwestern Saudi Arabia, near the boundary of country Jordan. After a few hours, we take a car that goes to one of the peaks of Al Jabalos. We wait for the snow, but this time we can't see anything. But the landscape was magnificent. On the second day, we return to Al Jabalos to take another hour and a half entering the rocky road that goes to split track of Horeb. A place that one of the most important parts of the puzzle that this part of Saudi Arabia is the real road to Mount Sinai written in the Bible. Now, on the third day, we are going to Al Bayat. This is the only way to go back the real Mount Sinai where the controversial Golden Cab was located. What intrigued me was that this area is now safe in Google Map. Google even gives you the correct way going here. Entering the area is not so easy. You must ask permission from the nearby authority. The Saudi guard let us in after tons of interrogations. My question is, if you can see it's just an ordinary big rocks, but why the Saudi authority makes a wire gate around the rocks? Why this evidence protected by the government? In 1571 BCE, Moses was born in a time of slavery of Israelites. Her mother secretly hid him when the Pharaoh ordered all newborn Hebrews boys to be killed in order to reduce the population of the Israelites. Through the Pharaoh's daughter, the child was adopted and grew up with the Egyptian royal family. God sent Moses to demand the release of the Israelites from slavery. Moses led his people out of Egypt and across the Red Sea, after which they based themselves at Mount Sinai, where the Moses received the Ten Commandments. At first, you can see nothing is special about this rock, but when you go up, you will see the pictographs. For a thousand years ago, the Saudi authority protecting this area for the outside world. All the evidence in the Bible was well preserved here. So, pinaniniwalaan yung sa ibabaw niyan ay ayan, dyan mismo pinatong yung golden cup and then nagalit si Moises nung bumaba siya kaya naparusahan yung mga taong sumamba sa gintong baka more than 6 years na ako dito sa Saudi Arabia and wala pa ako nakikitang baka dito sa Saudi Arabia kaya kapansin-pansin dito sa mga batong ito makikita talaga yung mga baka parang itong place na ito talaga sa Saudi Arabia ay uh, talagang ito yung parte ng Bible I am aware that this stone was the symbol of sin, sin for worshipping idols that the Lord does not allow us to make. Then the humanity realized how important is the Ten Commandments that God gave us through Moses, that we should never forget and take for granted. We are not yet finished yet, we would return tomorrow, 
to enter the most important part of our trip, the real Mount Sinai.